May 7, 1990, record producer David Tickle is taking a leisurely drive across Salisbury Plain on his way to Guilford. At 3 o'clock, he stops at Stonehenge and videotapes the standing stones and the barrows with an analog video recorder. To his amazement, the camera captures something he can't explain. White objects seem to be appearing and disappearing in the sky over an oval barrow. At the same time, several black objects on the top of the barrow blink in and out of existence, apparently in sync with the objects in the sky. I think these objects could well follow the ley lines because, I mean, it's so close to the Stonehenge monument uh, over these barrows. That could well be a UFO. And these here could be earth engines. You keep seeing things popping up and down on the mounds, black things. The objects in the sky could possibly be analog video artifacts, flaws that appear when an ultra-bright object overrides the circuitry and produces a false image. But that doesn't explain the dark images appearing on the mound, nor is there any explanation of why the dark balls are appearing and disappearing in time with the white objects. Really? Now, why is the UFO seeming to, like, wink in and out of existence? I don't understand this is why. How, it appears and disappears and appears and disappears. This is how these objects often operate. They seem to be uh, dimension hoppers. They, they will go in and out of our reality. You're saying that the UFOs aren't attracted to this area. They, they can be. They're from sent area. out from. They can, but I have seen them attracted to these sites as well. But I've never seen this where You've got the energies and the UFO in the, in, all on tape like that. So that's extraordinary. While the team finds the video evidence impressive, the low quality of the analog tape calls the footage into question. Tickle and Parsons, however, are convinced that this footage is indeed evidence of Earth energies and UFOs over Stonehenge. UFOs seem to travel along ley lines, along the energy grid, as if they're attracted to it. But in this particular case, what we saw over the barrow was that UFOs seem to be winking in and out of existence, almost as though they're traveling in between dimensions.